Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a perfect top coat on your resin coasters. I wanted to share an updated version. This is both how my mom and I do our top coats, and we found this to be the easiest way for us. If you haven't seen my last video where I made these coasters, make sure to check that out. So in order for your coasters to be smooth and domed, it's very important to soften up the edges. You'll realize once you demold your coasters that the edges stick up a little bit and they can be sharp. So immediately after demolding, I'm taking an X-Acto knife and I'm scraping the edges. You'll want to do this the day after you've created your resin coasters and immediately after you've demolded them. Because the resin hasn't completely hardened yet, so it'll be fairly easy to use the X-Acto knife to scrape off the edges. Whereas if you were to wait one more day, the resin would be harder and it would be a lot more difficult. We used to do this step by sanding. When we first started with resin, we would hand sand it with sandpaper and shortly after, we started using a Dremel tool to sand instead. But my mom recently told me that using an X-Acto knife is a lot easier and she's definitely right. After I've smoothed out the edges, I leave my coasters to continue their curing process for one more day. This is because I'm going to be propping them up onto cups and I want them to harden more before I do so so that they won't lose their shape. After a day has passed, now I'm going to get them ready for their top coat. This next step is my mom and I's favorite resin tip. We also filmed a video filled with resin tips, I'll leave a link to that above so make sure to check that out as well if you're interested. Now I'm turning all of the resin coasters around because I'm going to be adding liquid latex. Before I get the liquid latex ready, I'm making sure that my makeup brush is clean and these are so easy to clean, the resin just peels right off. I'll leave links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. And here's the liquid latex that I'm going to be using. I just pour some into an old cup and then from there I pour it onto the coasters close to the edges. And you really don't need to pour too much because it does spread really easily. Then I take my silicone makeup brush and just push the latex to the edges. Any leftover liquid latex that I have in my cup, I just pour it right back into the bottle. And I leave for the latex to dry. I come back after 20 to 30 minutes, and as you can see, it hasn't completely dried yet, but it has dried enough that it won't budge. And this means that we are good to go, and I can start propping them up onto cups. This way, when I add my top coat, any resin that flows off over the edge will fall onto the baking paper. And if any cures on the bottom side, it will easily come off with the latex when I peel that off the next day. After my coasters are ready, I start to mix in my resin for my top coat, and I'm using DCS Resin by Depon. You can use my code SUMMERGIRL to save 10% on your purchase of 40 euros or more. It has a very clear and smooth finish, and it's my favorite resin that I've used for a top coat so far. Once my resin is mixed well for a few minutes, I make sure that my coasters are clean, so I'm wiping them with a paper towel with some alcohol. And a good thing to do before you pour your top coat is to repot your resin. So I'm just taking my cup of resin and pouring it into another cup. And then I mix it for another minute or two in that cup. This way you can be sure that there aren't any areas in your cup of resin that's not mixed well because if you end up pouring resin that's not mixed well onto your coasters, it won't cure properly and it could become sticky. Before I pour my resin, I go over my coasters with my torch gun and this is to get rid of any surface moisture. Then I pour my resin into the center of my coasters. I spotted a little fiber, so I'm picking that out with a wooden stick. It 
and I use the torch gun again to pop any air bubbles in the resin and I'm moving it in a quick motion so that I don't burn it. Then I take my silicone makeup brush and carefully spread the resin to the edges. You want to be careful that you don't miss any spots. Once I'm done, I use the torch gun once more to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles and then I leave and come back the next day. And here I am the next day and now the liquid latex is ready to be peeled off. As you can see, when the liquid latex is completely dry, it is clear, but I did mention earlier that it's not necessary to wait for it to be completely dry for you to start your top coat. It peels off very easily and I find this part to be very satisfying. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.